both the virus that causes SARS and the virus responsible for COVID-19 belong to the same overarching family of coronaviruses. Researchers in China discovered that the protein spikes on the surface of the COVID-19 virus are similar to the protein spikes found on the surface of the SARS virus. People become infected when those protein spikes bind to special receptors on the outside of human cells. Chloroquine works by interfering with those receptors, which may interfere with the virus's ability to bind to cells. The way that it worked against SARS was by preventing of the attachment of the virus to the cells. Chloroquine interfered with the attachment to that receptor on the cell membrane surface, Horovitz said. So it's disrupting a lock and key kind of mechanism of attachment. Researchers in China found that treating patients with COVID-19 associated pneumonia with chloroquine may shorten their hospital stay and improve the patient's outcome. The World Health Organization announced Wednesday that it is launching a multi-country clinical trial to test four drugs as potential COVID-19 therapies. Chloroquine is one of the drugs. The other drugs are the antiviral drug Remdesivir. Survival rates declined in a dose-dependent manner, with 88% survival when treated with 5 mg per kilogram chloroquine and 13% survival when treated with 1 mg per kilogram chloroquine. Chloroquine can affect virus infection in many ways, and the antiviral effect depends in part on the extent to which the virus utilizes endosomes for entry. Besides having a direct antiviral effect, chloroquine is endowed with an immunomodulatory activity, suppressing the production and release of tumor necrosis factor alpha and interleukin-6, which mediate the inflammatory complications of several viral diseases. Comparing untreated patients, those receiving hydroxychloroquine and those given hydroxychloroquine plus the antibiotic azithromycin, the results showed there was a spectacular reduction in the number of positive cases with the combination therapy, said Professor Rolt. At six days, among patients given combination therapy, the percentage of cases still carrying SRAS-CoV-2 was no more than 5%. Azithromycin was added because it is known to be effective against complications from bacterial lung disease but also because it has been shown to be effective in the laboratory against a large number of viruses, the infectious disease specialist explained.